This whole week I've been hearing this a lot about Jada Pinkett Smith. I'm tired. I'm tired of being in the group chat. Take me out of the group chat. Every time I turn around, she's saying or revealing something. I'm sick of it. I'm going to tell you why you're not going to stop hearing about it. Because the content surrounding Jada Pinkett Smith does numbers. Now we're going to do a deep dive into this one account to explain what's happening. All right. Now stick around. Don't scroll away. You got some time. Pop Crave tweeted this. Jada Pinkett Smith says she's transformed herself into some sort of urban nun. Blah, blah, blah. Mel Mitchell quoted that and said, this is the third tweet from them like this from today. They're literally just cherry picking the messiest parts of her memoir and making tweets. And that's exactly what's happening. In the last seven days, Pop Crave has tweeted about Jada Pinkett Smith 10 times, all right? Let, let's see the amount of times those tweets have been viewed, all right? 28 million, 1.5 million, 16.5 million, 128,000, 70 million, 1.3 million, 5.8 million, 4.2 million, 893,000, 1.2 million. That's roughly 129 million views and impressions on just Jada Pinkett Smith content. And then anything else they covered, Taylor Swift, uh, Lady Gaga, Drake, Beyonce, all the other stuff. The Jada stuff is killing. And here's what I'm telling people. I try to say this on my podcast. My co-host didn't agree with me, but here's what I believe. People say one thing, but their actual viewing habits are another thing. Remember MTV? They don't even play music videos because they were looking at the numbers and reality TV was getting viewed more than music videos. People say there ain't no, no good news anymore because bad news gets shared more and more. So what they did is, I think, bought her book, got an early copy and read through, like Mel said, and got all the salacious stuff and they're just tweeting it. Now check your gossip sites that you follow. Check the ones you see and look at the Jada content and all the other content. And the Jada Pinkett Smith stuff is doing more numbers because Americans, we love celebrity culture. We say we hate it, but we love it. That's why the Kardashians are billionaires because they just be playing the game. Jada Pinkett didn't say or reveal all that stuff to them. She just said it in her book, which is a memoir. And if I'm Jada Pinkett Smith, publicist, I'm ecstatic. If I'm her publisher, 130 million impressions from just one account. That's just Pop Crave. Even if you don't buy her book, you absolutely know about her book. And I'm going to venture to say that more people wouldn't even have known her book was coming out if for not all this discourse. So if you really don't care about something, you really don't care. It's why ESPN don't really cover baseball and hockey nearly as much as basketball and football because the viewership drops on that content. Check their accounts. You'll see hockey and, and baseball don't do no numbers, but football and basketball does. So if you're really tired and everybody else around you is really tired, it won't get covered. But it's the same reason I know about Krishan and Blueface. I never watch none of their shows, but people talk about them and the stuff surrounding them does numbers. And that's why you'll always see it.